What do you look for in an institution of higher learning? Personally, I have a few critical things I consider. I like to know that my university has various course centers of excellence. Makes it that much easier to choose what course to take. I value flexibility when it comes to study modes. No matter what my schedule is like, I know I can always pursue my studies. My spiritual well-being is of great importance to me. Therefore, an institution where I get to grow and be nurtured spiritually is definitely a winner. A university with adequate physical facilities. A university that sees co-curricular activities as an integral part of the learning experience. Bottom line, a university that would offer me a holistic education. This is my university of choice. The university's clarity of vision and purpose has seen it evolve from a single classroom of six freed slaves to a fully-fledged university with four campuses and several learning centers. This is a college that started way back in 1903. It has gone through the First World War. It has survived the Second World War. And it has managed to bring many churches together and form a very powerful ecumenical institution. Around the uh, mid of this century, it moved its headquarters from Mombasa to Limuru. You can't go through the history of St. Paul's without getting the feeling that you have just experienced a split second of eternity. 1875, the establishment of Freya Town Settlement. 1888, the first divinity class was started. 1903, the foundation stone for the Divinity School was laid down. 1930, the school was moved from Freya Town to Limuru. 1955, the Divinity School acquired the name St. Paul's United Theological College. 2003, the institution celebrated 100 years of existence. 2007, the institution was chartered under the name St. Paul's University. 2015, the university will celebrate its 24th graduation on the 9th of October. Over the years, we've kept on growing from a small, um, tiny little college in 2007 when we first bought chapter to a huge uh, university with over 20 different undergraduate programs that we offer in various fields of studies with great emphasis on excellence. This growth is not only a testament to years of determination and hard work, but also a strong and unshakable faith in God and love for humanity. St. Paul stands as a model of ecumenism for the Church of Christ in the earth. The university has four campuses Limuru Campus, Nairobi Campus, Machakos Campus, and Nakuru Campus. At St. Paul's University, students are well steeped in immersion experience, uh, which is a way of learning that emphasizes quality by bringing together principles and theories of learning, but also equally emphasizing practical aspects of their learning. Right now, we are close to 7,000 students spread out in our three faculties. The university has three faculties, Faculty of Theology, Faculty of Business, IT and Communication Studies, and the Faculty of Social Sciences. In the Faculty of Theology, we have two undergraduate programs. We have the Bachelor of Divinity, which is a very uh, unique program because it trains theologians, but with a practical aspect in that they are trained to become ministers, not just theologians. And uh, it's the only one of its kind in this country. 
Each campus is equipped with modern lecture halls and other facilities that make learning not only smooth but also enjoyable. We also have the Bachelor of Arts in Translation Studies where again our students learn how to translate materials. Then we have a Master's of Theology with various specializations and we are currently going through the accreditation process of our PhD in Theology. We have the Faculty of Business and communication studies. This is our largest faculty. It comprises of four departments. We have the Department of Business Studies, uh, ICT, uh, Communication and Education. In the Department of Business, we have a Bachelor of Business, um, Administration and Management, and Bachelor of Commerce. And then we have a Master's program in MBA. I will also add we are working on a PhD in the same. In the Department of uh, ICT, we have um, BSc, Computing and Information Systems, and we are working on other programs in that area. We have Bachelor of Arts in Communication, in the Communication Department, and we have three programs in Education. This is um, B.Ed. Arts, uh, B.Ed. Special Needs, and B.Ed. Early Childhood and Development. We have the Faculty of Social Sciences, and this houses all our social science programs in two departments, the Department of Development Studies and Department of Sociology and Psychology. We have a total of seven programs in that department. We have three master's programs, that is Master of Development Studies, we have Master of Arts in Community Care and HIV AIDS, and we have Master of Arts in Transformational Leadership. And then we have the undergraduate programs in uh, Community Development, Social Work, and counseling psychology. We have the regular program, mainly for the younger students and those who are uh, finishing school. We offer them mainly in Dimuru, where we also have very good boarding facilities, and in all the other campuses. St. Paul's University has been my home since 2013, and I will graduate this year in October. Joining St. Paul's University was the best decision I ever made. I got to learn about it through my sister, who was once a student here. It's been a good experience interacting with lecturers and my fellow students, and I appreciate everything they have done, because uh, the journey alone wouldn't have been as good as it was with the friends that I made. We have the evening mode of study and the weekend mode of study for our BC students who want to advance, but yet they're still working. I am working, again I am a family man. I have been here for a while because I did my diploma in St. Paul's. I did my uh, bachelor uh, in St. Paul's and uh, again I have done Master of Theology in St. Paul's and again I will come to do the PhD. We also have modular mode of study, especially for our Master of Development Studies uh, which is taken by students who are working in development organizations all over the country and even beyond. Ever since I came here, uh, people have just been so warm and kind to me. Um, they can tell I'm not from here, so uh, people have gone out of their way to make sure I'm comfortable, to make sure I have everything I need, um, to help me get adjusted to life here, teaching me Swahili. Then we have the school-based uh, mode of study, mainly for the education students. We also have distance and e-learning. We operate in three of our undergraduate programs, that is Bachelor of Arts in Community Development, Bachelor of Arts in Leadership and Management, and a Bachelor of Business in Administration and Management. We continue uh, seeking for more qualified academic staff, particularly those with the PhDs. We've also recently started a mentorship program and so we have partnered students with staff so that they are able to be mentored and taken through what they expect in the university. The experience with the lecturers was beautiful because they shared their personal experiences in the career world and in their family lives, which encouraged us to know that we can be better people in the world. They have mentored us in, in our careers and we are glad for that. The most important thing is uh, to make sure that our facilities are Modern. We have a TV studio and two radio studio 
uh, for the communication students, which are spread out in our campuses. I like St. Paul's because it has a conducive environment for study. It is quiet and gives me the independence as a student. Also, it gives me so many opportunities to use the studio, get new experiences and skills. Especially as a singer, it gives me the confidence to be able to stand on stage and be articulate. When we say we are servants of God and humanity, we walk the talk. As part of our service to the community, a fully equipped university dispensary and a bank within the university are open to the members of the public. We also have um, a, a counseling psychology lab as well as a ECD lab where our students are able to learn practically what they are supposed to do. Our library is one of the most modern libraries and has quite a number of titles that we need. And besides the hard copies, we have invested heavily on e-resources. Our students can access our library from wherever they are, so long as they have internet. And this makes it very easy for our distance learners. We actually uh, emphasize transformative education, which targets the whole person, a holistic approach to learning, that uh, a whole person is formed in a way that they are able to tackle life problems and come up with solutions so that their education is not just about certificates or specific qualification or even specific um, specialization in any area of learning but it is about that acumen and the ability the capacity to be able to take on the world and make their own unique contributions in making themselves the best persons that they can be for themselves because value has been added to them in the way that they have been taught but also making that unique contribution to the society. I love St. Paul's University because it embraces holistic education and ecumenical values. In building this holistic person, we have a number of co-curricular activities which range from a number of clubs and sports and uh, other associations that are there for our students to enjoy. And uh, our students have taken this challenge and have continued to excel. For example, our women volleyball team are actually the reigning champions in the university uh, sector. And also our drama were the winners of this year's film category in the recently concluded drama festival. St. Paul's University has been a very conducive place to learn. I have participated in many activities, including sports. I have also done modeling. There are so many clubs that are upcoming in St. Paul's University. We have environmental clubs, the Young Innovators Club, The class of 2015 is set to graduate on the 9th of October this year and we are already in preparation to make this day the best day of their life for them, to celebrate the achievement of their, of their academic work that they have got to be here. Among them for the first time, we are going to graduate distance learners, all those students who have gone through our distance and e-learning mode of study. And we are proud because uh, this being a pioneer class, we've seen what distance learning can do. And we've seen how it can transform people's lives. People who thought that was the end of their education because of various issues. But to see them get an education and having gone through all the rigors and actually qualifying, we are very pleased, even as we graduate the others in other programs. And now, it is our great pleasure to invite you to our 24th graduation ceremony on Friday the 9th of October 2015 at the Limuru campus from 8.30 a.m.